We continue our team coverage of tonight's third and final presidential debate with 13 Action News anchor Steve Wolford and our political expert John Ralston in the spin room tonight. Gentlemen. Hello once again, Tricia. Uh, we, uh, we've had uh, a lot of people come by here and we wanted to, to let uh, Donald Trump, the Trump camp, be represented tonight. So uh, let uh, John do the introduction and fire the first question. Katrina Pearson, who's uh, all over cable television, is joining us uh, as a spokesman for the Trump campaign. You were just saying before we came on that no one wants to talk about the issue, so I'm sure you're going to be upset that the <laughs> national AP lead is already out, and, and you know what the lead is, is that y your candidate is not willing to say he will accept the results of the election. You're shaking your head, but th shouldn't that disturb people? I don't think it should disturb people. I mean, why would any candidate accept results that haven't even occurred yet? Um, it's extremely important that um, we make sure that people are aware and paying attention, um, particularly when he has already stated specific cities like Philadelphia, whose Secretary of State has already released information saying there has been voter fraud, and we're paying attention. That's another reason why he's always pushing for early voting. It's another reason why he's saying we have to win big, we have to win by big margins, just to make sure there's no funny business that occurs. But there's no evidence that there's widespread funny business. There have been isolated cases right. of fraud. I promise this is the last question I'll ask right. about this. So, but but don't, don't you worry about him undermining the faith of the American people in the uh -huh. election process? Not at all. I think a lot of people already are worried about voter integrity. If you've been involved in politics, particularly at the grassroots level like I've been, a lot of people are concerned about it. And widespread is the word that they're using. That is the operative term. But we're not really talking about widespread per se. We're talking about specific counties that can determine the way an entire state goes. We're talking about specific counties that determine the entire state. Katrina, you're inside three weeks now before Election Day. and, and uh, and Donald Trump will be talking about some issues. What do you think he needs to, to discuss to really, uh, among other things, gain, a, gain some ground with female voters that he's, uh, that he's lost a, a, a lot of his uh, support? Not a lot. He's lost some of his support among female voters over the last... Well, I think what you're seeing in the polls, um, I think you have people have their initial thoughts and reactions when things happen. But I think what we've also seen is people realize that we're in 20 days out from an election. Mr. Trump has been out there for four decades. These types of things have never come up. People are starting to figure out that these are campaign tactics, particularly after the, the information that came out today where people that were contracted with the Clinton campaign were actually being paid to go and incite violence. And she even cited that on the debate stage today. I mean, it's these people are paid to do what they do. This is politics. It's a dirty sport, and people understand that. Well, we appreciate you stopping by and taking part in that sport. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Happy Katrina, Katrina much, thank you. Guys. All right, uh, the other big issue that, uh, that we've seen as far as the traffic, uh, some major traffic jams around Las Vegas right now because of uh, the security that's in place. Let's go to